Chevy four-wheel drives outsell competition because they give buyers what buyers want. Vehicles that are tough, reliable, and dependable. Strength, impressive durability, and the power to do almost anything, go almost anywhere, is what Chevy four-wheel drives are all about. And what a wide choice Chevy offers. In half-ton, four-wheel drive pickups, Chevy's K10 series, there are six and a half and eight foot box fleet side and step side models, as well as chassis cabs in two wheelbases. Three quarter ton K20 pickups in fleet side, step side, and chassis cab. The new K30, one ton, Chevy four wheel drive series for 1977, adds eight new models to the growing line of tough, brawny off road vehicles. A two door pickup, two four door pickups, plus five chassis cab models. The rugged Chevy Blazer is an outstanding member of the four-wheel drive lineup. Super Wagon, Chevy Suburban, is available in four four-wheel drive models, two models each in K10 and K20 series. This makes a total of 22 four-wheel drive models available from Chevrolet. Chevy's four-wheel drive toughness and reliability have stood the bone-chilling, round-the-clock workloads along the Trans-Alaska Pipeline construction, where over half of the 3,000 truck fleet working in the Arctic were Chevrolets. Chevrolet also offers K30 four-wheel drive models with dual rear wheels in pickup models, as well as chassis cab for special body installation. Gross vehicle weight rating with duals is up to 10,000 pounds. Tough ladder type frames on four wheel drive Chevys are matched to the vehicle's load capacity rating. Rear springs on all Chevy four wheel drives are two stage, multi leaf for a good ride when empty, but furnishing full load carrying ability when loaded. Rugged front and rear axles have strong one piece differential carriers with removable plates for inspection. Both front and rear axles have large hypoid ring gears. Front suspensions are also built tough. Tapered multi-leaf front springs help provide a low body height and give a good ride. A front stabilizer bar is standard on all models. It helps improve stability. To further improve the ride, all 1977 Chevy K10 pickups, Suburbans and Blazers have soft ride suspension, standard. All Chevrolet four-wheel drive vehicles are designed with good ground clearance front and rear. To help provide added reliability, transmission, transfer case, and front and rear drive shafts are all tucked above the center cross member to provide high mid-vehicle ground clearance. For driving over rough terrain, steel shield plates are available for the transfer case and fuel tank. There are five dependable Chevrolet engines to choose from. Two sixes, three V8s, including the new 305 V8 all run on regular or unleaded fuel. All 1977 Chevy four-wheel drive vehicles have the high energy ignition system, dependable, durable, responsive, up to 35,000 volts available, which provides plenty of reserve energy for sure starting power. As a demonstration of this reserve energy, each element of the display requiring approximately 5,000 volts will be lit by the energy available to an individual spark plug with sufficient voltage left to fire that plug. Engine start, idle, or high RPM. HEI, high energy ignition, with reserve energy. In addition, this system can also help reduce recommended maintenance expenses compared to a conventional system increased spark plug life, has no points or ignition condenser. Three transmissions are available, three-speed manual, four-speed manual, and turbo hydromatic. All Chevy four-wheel drives feature heavy-duty two-speed transfer cases that are bolted directly to the transmission, resulting in low cab entrance, low silhouette, low overall height, and high ground clearance. Four-wheel drive Chevys with manual transmissions have conventional four-wheel drive. Locking, freewheeling front hubs are included. The hubs permit disengaging front wheels for two-wheel drive operation. 
Chevys with the available automatic transmissions have the full-time four-wheel drive system with all controls inside the cab, eliminating the need to get out of the vehicle to operate the front hubs. For normal operation, on or off the road, the transfer case selector lever should remain in the H position. Power is available to front and rear drive shafts as needed. On slippery or low traction surfaces, which allow wheel slippage, H-lock should be engaged, supplying equal power to both front and rear drive shafts. For difficult pulling situations, a low range is provided. When maximum power is required, shifting the transfer case to L applies power, as needed, to both drive shafts at a two to one gear reduction. For maximum power on extreme low traction surfaces, simply shift to L-lock, which supplies equal power to both drive shafts at a two to one gear reduction. New this year is this lock position warning light. It's there to remind the driver to shift out of lock range, either low or high, when returning to normal surfaces. End position, transfer case neutral, is provided for power takeoff operations, such as a light duty record. In neutral, front and rear drive shafts are disengaged. The vehicle is stationary. Particularly useful in sand, mud, snow, or ice is the available Eaton locking rear differential, a General Motors exclusive. Positive power is supplied to both rear wheels. Double wall construction is another part of Chevy's added value, added toughness. When the going gets rough, double wall construction adds rigidity to the cowl, hood, the front fenders, the doors, the fleet side pickup box, side panels, and tailgate. All Chevy pickups have extensive corrosion protection built in, including special coated steel for selected components, aluminum wax preservative, and anti-corrosion primers, including the electro-coating process for most pickup box steel components. Chevy's standard power-assisted front disc and rear drum brakes are matched to each truck's size and weight rating. That means higher rated capacity trucks get heavier duty brake systems. Four trim levels are available on all pickups and chassis cabs. Custom Deluxe, Scottsdale, Cheyenne, and Silverado. All four wheel drives can be equipped with a wide selection of available comfort and convenience options. Power steering, comfort tilt steering wheel, engine gauges, air conditioning, radio, speed and cruise control plus dealer-installed accessories like tape player, CB radio, electric winch, and grill guard. Heavy-duty engine, suspension, and chassis equipment for trailering is available for all four-wheel drive models, including this Chevy Suburban Super Wagon. Chevy Blazer offers even more variations for off-road fun and recreation. Blazer Hardtop, Blazer Softtop, and Blazer Chalet. Chevy four-wheel drives are designed tough, built tough, to travel places beyond where the roads end. Chevys can be dressed up, like this K10 Sport, to be just about the sharpest truck in town. But no matter how fancy, every Chevy four-wheel drive is a tough, reliable, off-road workhorse, a dependable working partner on the job. Work, value, and durability have all been built into it. Chevrolet salespeople have an unsurpassed line of four-wheel drive vehicles with models and features to fit virtually every customer's requirement. And industry figures show that 96% of all Chevrolet trucks registered in the last 10 years are still on the job. Chevy four-wheel drive, built to stay tough. The 1978 Malibus and Malibu Classics. A totally new series of mid-size cars from Chevrolet.
good news for you and your mid-size car prospects. And for the next few minutes, we'll look at the reasons to buy Malibu in 1978. Let's start off by accepting the fact that these new concept Malibus look great. Style is a major attraction, but so are many of the innovations designed into these cars. What are the benefits of the trimness, the lack of excess? The first benefit is obvious. A lighter car contributes to good gas mileage. The trimmer exterior also means increased maneuverability in city traffic compared to last year's model. The turning radius is two feet smaller than last year, making Malibu more nimble in and out of parking spaces and in U-turns. It's a trimmer exterior package, so what about interior size? We went after the critical interior dimensions. Dimensions you feel. Leg room, knee room, head room. Front leg room is almost half an inch more than last year. A good two and a half inches more than Granada and Monarch and even superior to legroom provided by Ford full-size models. In fact, we've added almost an inch of seat track on the manual seat by extending it rearward. So we really have an effective legroom of nearly 44 inches. We have nearly an inch more headroom than last year. We have 4.1 inches clearance from the steering wheel to the thigh, an important comfort measurement. That's almost twice the clearance Granada and Monarch have. The whole feeling of the car is open and roomy. In the rear of the sedan, we have 38 inches of leg room, which gives us a one to three inch advantage over competitive sedans like Monaco, Monarch, LTD2, and Volari. In rear seat headroom, we have more than last year and nearly an inch more than LTD2. But here's something else. It's also easier to get in and out of a Malibu sedan this year. This rear passenger compartment is designed for use. It's not just two back doors added to a coupe. There's a wider foot entrance, and the door sill is narrower to make it easier to step in and out of the car. The rearward positioning of the quarter window and the decreased curvature of the upper half of the door all work to provide easier entry and exit. Trimmer outside, more room inside, and we still have double panel construction in the doors, hood, and deck lid. It's important to know how we did it. The full foam front seat is slim for more leg room and knee room. The full foam rear seat back is slim and a little less crown to the rear seat gives us more room. We used recessed armrests to provide four inches greater elbow room and hip room. This recess is made possible by a new stationary window configuration. And this gives us another advantage. The elimination of a guidepost that has traditionally split the view of rear seat passengers. We now have a picture window. This brings up the question of ventilation. The new system is worth demonstrating. We've designed a special dual mode ventilation system that will deliver air to the back seat under all driving conditions. You have the blower powered by a three-speed fan. You have ram air from outlets under the instrument panel. And in the sedans where you're more likely to have rear seat passengers more of the time, there are swing out vent windows to increase ventilation flow. This system actually provides more comfortable circulation than the roll down rear window where the air blows rather than flows. On this point of convenience and comfort, in the front passenger compartment, the instrument panel has been recessed on the passenger side to create more living room space. Both driver and passenger should be made aware of the mutually accessible center control panel and the new bin type glove box design that the driver now finds easily within his or her reach. Point out the coin slots for storing parking meter change. So far, we've seen the facts on interior room and some of the comfort features and their benefits. But what about quiet? The people package includes a durable one-piece molded carpet that has an integral sound deadener built in to help keep out road noise. The molded headlining, in addition to being attractive, was selected because of its fine sound absorption characteristics. Now let's move on to another very important area, the trunk. 
We have more than one and a half cubic feet more space here than last year. Compared to Ford's LTD2, we have almost two more cubic feet of space in here. One way we achieved this was by utilizing a compact spare tire. This is a temporary tire that comes fully inflated and ready to use. Not only does it give you more room in the trunk, a whole cubic foot more room, but it weighs 30% less than the traditional spare tire. The compact spare is easier to handle, easier to install. And when properly inflated to 60 pounds per square inch, it's designed to give you up to 3,000 miles of tread life at speeds up to 50 miles per hour. Small, light, dependable. Demonstrated. A demonstration will help put your customer at ease. Most of the points mentioned so far are fairly conspicuous, but many of Malibu's features are not nearly so obvious. For instance, extensive treatment against rust and corrosion by utilizing rust-resistant materials like galvanized steel, aluminum, and zinc metals, plus extensive use of rust-inhibiting coatings and sealers. And here's something else hard to see. Malibu is one of the very few cars of its size to offer the advantage of full-frame construction. This also enables us to isolate the body from the frame with 14 tuned body mounts, which contribute to Malibu's impressive ride softness and quietness. The suspension is the proven short, long-arm independent front suspension combined with the four-link rear suspension. A front stabilizer bar is standard to help keep the ride smooth and level. Glass-belted radial tires deliver low rolling resistance and contribute to fuel efficiency. A new, lighter-weight CCOT air conditioning system is available. CC stands for cycling clutch, which means the unit turns on and off as needed, as opposed to running all the time. Malibu and Malibu Classic. A lot of new thinking went into them. Now, let's turn our attention to the 78 Malibu and Malibu Classic wagons. Any station wagon story comes down to the additional features and benefits of convenience, ease of operation, and carrying capacity. We have an easy load tailgate. The top, counterbalanced by two pressurized cylinders, swings up and forward out of the way. The lower half pivots down to floor level. Compare this ease of operation with, say, Volari's one-piece lift gate or some other competitive models. With the rear seat and tailgate down, the load floor is extended to more than 100 inches for easy loading, 16 inches more than Volari. Even with our trim exterior, we offer very competitive interior dimensions and a cargo volume of 72.4 cubic feet. To answer the question, how big an object can I really fit in? We suggest letting the 1978 Malibu mini theater cartridge demonstration speak for itself. Here's another innovation that makes a lot of sense. The spare tire cover can be positively locked open to support small parcels or grocery bags to help prevent spills. It's another good demonstration possibility. This trim tailgate design is also Chevy tough. Here's a quick way to demonstrate right away that this tailgate is designed to take the load. There's one other benefit of this design that we've included in the mini theater film. And that's the access possible when squeezed in bumper to bumper. This kind of convenience is just not there with one piece competitive designs. You could also demonstrate this yourself during a demonstration drive. All you need is a supermarket parking lot. The 1978 Malibu wagons give you strong features and benefits to sell. Convenience, strength, carrying capacity, all with the new concept Malibu efficiencies. And speaking of efficiencies, now let's talk about power plants. You have two different engines to offer your customers this year, a standard V6 and an available V8. The V6 configuration is a lighter weight, more compact engine than the L6, and it's smooth. It offers the size and weight advantages we need to create a fuel-efficient vehicle that also provides the performance capability our buyers demand. But you have to get them into the car to experience this and the many other features that Malibu offers. Be sure to demonstrate in a unit equipped with air conditioning. 
most customers order it. And it's a strong selling point when illustrating the performance abilities of the V6. Present the features and benefits. Then, just step back and take a look at Malibu. The exciting styling. The array of choices you have. The colors, combinations, trims, and the available options. Like a sunroof, a center console, bench bucket seats, or the new 50-50 split bench seats. Four season air conditioning, custom two-tone paint, to name only a few. We've covered what you can present on the showroom floor and during the demonstration drive. And we've covered the nine major consumer reasons to buy as they appear in your study guides and on the product literature. More interior, head, leg, knee room, both front and rear. More trunk room, 16.1 cubic feet. Thrifty V6 engine, standard. Easier to park and more maneuverable in city traffic. Full frame construction in an efficient size car. Front stabilizer bar, standard. Extensive corrosion resisting treatments. 14 noise isolating body mounts contribute to a quiet ride. And double panel walls in door, hood, and deck lid. And we pointed to where the mini theater cartridge can help with some of the invisible area demonstrations. Above all, make sure not one prospect gets away without a demonstration drive. This car is brand new. A totally new mid-sized car. Your prospect has to be given the opportunity to experience it, to appreciate it. Give your customer that opportunity. And give yourself that close you're looking for. Say what's new today In a Chevrolet Say what's new today